guys, I am Nazna and welcome back. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't post anything for a while. My sisters were at home and because it was the holidays and I had no way of recording any audio because I didn't want to record while they were there. It's just a bit too embarrassing. And maybe next time I'll just post a speed painting with music over it. So then I won't have to record any audio. So this is my first video of 2020 and I thought I would hop onto the bandwagon and do a repainting of one of my old pieces. So the original piece was made at the start of 2018 and I made it with gouache. And this time I recreated it digitally. Um, I think I'll be inserting a video or a picture of it here. In some ways it's harder digitally because you can zoom in and thus you need to put a lot more detail in. Whereas traditionally a well paced brush stroke can give the illusion of detail you can't zoom in and put it in i think it took me double the time but i never thought then i'd be able to make anything digitally that i was happy with and i thought it would definitely take me over 10 hours to make so talking about time everybody's doing their 10 year challenge and for me looking back it's kind of unreal because i always say that i feel like i'm still in the age between 8 and 10 in my head because after that time time just got on a jet and whizzed past and I feel like I've blinked and now I'm an adult and my childhood is completely finished and let's be honest nobody actually feels like an adult everybody's just kind of guessing at life but it's still a bit surreal let's talk about where I was 10 years ago let's go into that rabbit hole <laughs> then I was in primary school so for you Americans I, I think you would call it elementary school and I was definitely an outsider. So I, I basically just moved to England a few months prior from Germany. And the only English words I knew were watercolour and raccoon. Yeah, go figure. I don't know what that says about me either. And I had no friends at the time. Because by that point, everybody already had their little groups. And they weren't going to bring in a weird girl who couldn't talk to them. And being the shy little introverted girl I was, I didn't mind too much i would usually just bring my library book outside to the playground and lean on this bit of brick wall which separated the younger kids and the older ones and just read there for the whole time ideally i would have loved to play with my sisters because they were the only ones i knew at the time but they were on the other side of the fence so i was stuck being alone they were actually allowed over this one time and we were playing catch and i fell and grazed my knee and it was bleeding but because I felt so old and mature at this ripe old age of 10, I didn't tell the teachers because I was too embarrassed. But, you know, for the rest of the time, I was just reading a book. Think about it, that's probably why I learned English so quickly. Thanks to me being socially awkward and loving books. Mm. Yeah, fun fact, the first ever big book that I read was called Double Act by Jacqueline Wilson. And I remember thinking it was really big and I was so proud of myself for finishing it. But yeah, if you look at it now, it's not that big. It's kind of on the smaller side of books. So near the end, I ended up making some friends. Because my mum booked her tickets for our summer holiday in December, because that's when they're the cheapest, I think. She hadn't checked the school term dates and I ended up missing the last three days. And apparently they were so important because you're moving to a different, bigger school and you had spent all your childhood here. But I only spent a year and a bit at the school so I didn't mind because I didn't know anybody there. But when I compare myself to the old me, I was socially awkward. I opted to stay friendless for over a year just because I was too shy to talk to anybody and I didn't know any English. But look at me now, uploading my voice to a public place where anybody can listen to it if they want. And I'm speaking English. <laughs> and I'm really proud of myself for that and for going out of my comfort zone, even if it was only recent. And for the longest time, I hated my voice. And I think most people do because your voice sounds so different when you record it. And uh, fun fact, that's because when you hear your own voice, you'll hear your voice plus the vibration of your skull while you're talking which makes it sound deeper and different but other people don't hear that and the audio can't pick that up and that's why it usually sounds squeakier and a bit more annoying it's true what people say about just going for it and that you'll only regret the things that you didn't do and you know looking back at everything that i was so terrified of doing which probably doesn't seem like a big deal i've never regretted it I, if anything i've wished that i've done it sooner like starting a youtube channel or 
you know starting an instagram or instagram or even my personal instagram i was terrified but like looking back i'm fine with it and there are other stuff as well that i've done that i'm you know happy that i've done sorry i'm just kind of rambling and saying what i'm thinking of but i i think it's kind of very emotional time for a lot of people when they look back and see how they've changed and how far they've come and emotions are for the majority of time just jumbled up and just a big haphazard mess but being human is a big haphazard mess let's be even more cliche and talk about some new year's resolutions that i have and i've never done these but i feel like i'll just try it this year and i'm not gonna write these down and they're not gonna be very strict it's just gonna be kind of very general and i think the main one is that i want to just create more digital art and i want to be able to get to a point where i can make some environmental art pieces but i feel like they're so difficult to get right and they're so time consuming and every time i've attempted one in the past they never turn out in, in the way that i expect or where i'm happy with them and i ended up just hating the whole process at the end and the second thing would be to learn calligraphy because for years now i've wanted to learn but the exercises are so boring and i always get so disheartened by it and i remember in 2017 when i went out and i just bought a bunch of calligraphy stuff but i haven't used them that much and i haven't touched them in a year or so that's the second one and i think the last one would be just to be more happy you know in general and that includes doing more exercise and eating healthy because that affects your mental health a lot you just don't know what these companies put in all this junk food and how bad it actually is and you know being a bit more environmentally conscious and friendly because the world is dying and i won't do my part in helping it but feeling happy is going to be very very difficult especially right now with all this world war 3 memes going around and these acts provoking war that are so preventable all these atrocities happening around the world and you kind of just feel so helpless and it's very hard to be hopeful and just look on the bright side of things but you know we're just gonna have to try and be better people and i think i'm gonna end it there it's, it's been rambly enough and i hope you guys have had a great year and that the next one will be even better and even kinder and if you've made any new year's resolutions and you want to share them put it down in the comments below and if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me click that subscribe button and i'll see you guys again next time bye